Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I told a lie. I went and got myself a coffee before we started this. Alright, let us proceed. Recon aircraft are taking off, flying out to our location. And they have turned around. Uh, the ones from Svax... Oh, uh, they have turned around because of nightfall. We have a... Oh, so there's the French destroyer division. We have eyes on one of them. Uh, let us check our... Radar. Not quite as far as our sight. But you must say, not bad at all. So we have, uh... A report of one heavy cruiser sailing in a west southwest at 15:45. So a little while ago, I believe. What is the time now? Uh, it will be dusk at 1600. All right. So that is actually a fresh report. Um. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, we will change our course to the north. Slightly, actually, no, we will maintain this heading. Uh, so that the sun is behind us. Forbin is recovering her float pain. Uh, so Forbin's on here somewhere. Um, I don't have control of her. It would have been nice to have control of Forbin instead of Pascal. Um, who is a Galilee class and has no business being here. Uh, so yeah, we may break that contact. Um, because I have no interest in taking a Galilee class into combat. Um, and just let the turns roll. Oh, Cogni reports unknown radar contact. So Cogni, that they have probably turned north as well. Here we go. So that's our destroyer, because we spotted that just before dusk, and they're heading straight towards our destroyers. That's definitely a group. Fast, I'm. So guessing it's a light cruiser, although the modern heavy cruisers are actually pretty speedy. Uh, we're going to go up to max speed. Um, we have our first gunfire. It's probably Cogni shooting uh, at, their, at their lead ship. Uh, Pascal. Maximum range, she's unlikely to get a hit. Can I... no, nope. so that division is directly under AI control. They believe that that is fairly modern. 2K guns, yeah, 6-inch, 6-inch, 6-inch guns on a destroyer. Interesting combination. Uh, Pascal does definitely not have the speed to avoid them. Uh, but her radar, I believe she has a superior radar. Um, the only thing is she cannot fire on on those ships. In fact, those ships have turned around as well. Um, yep, so some of our ships are starting to fade in and out of contact. We're going to slow down to 20 knots. And I think the AI has the right idea. We're going to Regroup. Uh, yep, we're going to try and regroup with uh, the French Light Carrier Division, Light Cruiser Division. Sorry, oh, Ali Bar, Jean Bar, Forbin. Uh, 
go to max speed. Pascal is actually faster than the <laughs> max speed. Uh, how about 28? No, 20? What speed are you making? Speed f 18 knots? 18, huh? Alright. So those are probably, it's probably a Trody in there somewhere. Uh, Jean Bart, yep, Trody. Uh, yep, so it's a Forbin paired with a Trody, uh, and along with a small Escort. Uh, we, did, we didn't see anything that was confirmed to be a light cruiser. It doesn't mean they're not out there. Pick up the game pace a little bit. Oh, no. So they have had enough. A uneventful first battle, I guess, but... Oh, you say you pick up unknown radar contact. That is probably Forbin. Yeah, that's Forbin. Uh, what speed is she making? Still 18 knots, alright. Uh, well, we'll pick up to 20. See if the game decides to end the battle anytime soon. Oh, no, we have fallen. We're still in contact with them, but they've fallen, uh, fallen out of visual range. What is their course? Three twelve, and what is our course? Three twenty. Well, we'll go down to three ten. Three ten. That'll be close enough, and we'll go down to eighteen knots. If I had to guess, they're going to head in towards Tunis. If I had to guess. A bunch of our aircraft are being repaired. Uh, unknown radar contact. Where have you found that? Oh, uh, okay, that's the rest of our group. Uh, well, what speed are you making then? It's still 18. Okay. Just gonna turn to avoid the peninsula. Nope, oh, nope, they have decided to head in that direction. Okay. Oh, we'll stay in contact. Oh, weather has packed in, it's now a storm. Yeah, I think they're heading in. Um yeah, it looks like we hit... Ooh, uh, we sunk one of their their uh, submarines. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that was our submarine. Um, oh, no. No submarine submarine kills. Uh, so congratulations to, uh, I guess, our destroyer group who managed to get that. Uh, and end game. Yep. Marginal victory. Well... Uh, uh, marginal is better than no victory. Uh, Lelandi. Okay. A uneventful battle. Uh, so we're going to move. Going to move these two into the med. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. Far out. Uh, so we have the Javelines in Northern Europe and the Indian Ocean, um, and we have some Claymores in the Indian Ocean. Uh, what we are going to do, let's go to our map, and first things first, set 
uh, Etria to invasion target. Yep, uh, it's going to cost us a fair bit of cash. Uh, let us make sure that we have. Oh, we have a lot of uh, supporting ships from uh, Germany here right now. Hopefully that kicks off immediately. And I imagine that they are preparing a attack against uh, against Tunisia, perhaps uh, perhaps Corsica. Corsica would be a good one to attack. They would have air coverage over that for days. Um, yeah, so we'll build. I will build an air base at San Florent. Uh, it will be a small air base. Uh, coastal fortification. Um, actually, I have to do it this way, don't I? Fortification air base at San Florin. Close. Uh, let me just check where we have an MBT squadron because that would be a good place to put, a good place to put one. Honestly, um, Corsica. We have a six-inch gun battery there, and air base there. And no MBT squadron, and so we'll add one there as well. Then build fortification, MBT squadron, close, and they will go out and they will play merry merry fuck fuck games with the Italian navy. Uh, we'll put uh, our ships to unrestricted. Our submarines to unrestricted rather, and let us begin assigning. Actually, no, we don't want to. Anything that is not a minesweeper is going into trade protection. And that should bring us up to a heck of a lot of anti submarine warfare. Trade protection. Trade protection and you trade protection. Um, oh yep, uh, and our uh, our investment into corvettes has paid off as we have actually exceeded the amount of anti-submarine warfare requirement. Um, these corvettes will start to whittle down, and if the war pro if the war goes on, we may need to build. Um, We may need to build um, AMCs, uh, but we haven't reached, I've never in a war reached that sort of desperation. It's come close. Uh, it's definitely come close, but I've never quite had to build uh, AMCs to fulfill roles. But then again, I'd never placed that much importance on raiding, um, which AMCs are, are okay at doing. Uh, in fact, I probably should have shown you guys how to do that, but I'm not. It's one of these things I'm not terribly familiar with myself. Um, oh, did we put a trident into the Indian Ocean? Oh, no, that's the Monclam. Um, just looking at what we're going to be receiving soon. Uh, more Mans. Which we may put into the mid. A uh, little, you're still a little ways away. I would have liked to have had you at the start, but uh, you'll be there soon enough. Uh, we're going to get the Tarjays back, along with Trody. Breeze is still a little, little ways away. Blackfish are coming along. Uh, we're going to get. Yeah, so everything's going to take a little bit to start coming to service, but all that shipbuilding we did up to this point um, is going to phase in quite suddenly. Yep, so we're waiting for favourable weather. Sarkouf and, yep, yep, two corvettes. Let's see what battles it has for us. 
Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, gradual improvement in armor quality. Um, well, if we were building new ships. Oh, uh, yep. Our new torpedo bomber is ready for service. And the first war, uh, San Marcos sinks one merchant. So I may have to put, maybe I'll put um, one climbers in the Indian Ocean. I would like Mon Clamp to come back, and then I will put her on trade protection. Um, at the moment, uh, this is going very, very well for our submariners. And I may just put... Uh, uh, put a few more submarines in. Well done to Germany. Ah, yes, Italy, attempting to invade Corsica. They're attempting to evade it from the western side, which is a little bit odd, but um, yes, we definitely... Oh, hello. Some of their battleships have disappeared. They have their full complement of CVs and CVLs, which... Uh, and they... Are not missing terribly many destroyers. Hmm. Well, we will not. We will not allow them to take Corsica without a fight. Attack enemy ships in general, please. The landing is taking place at night time. Oh, hello. Okay. Um, the landing is taking place at night time. Uh, it will be. Dawn and twelve. Okay, so it really is a full-on nighttime invasion. Not if I was Italy, not what I would have done. If I am genuinely honest, I do have to study the terrain on Corsica a little bit more uh, because if, if it was if it was for realsies, um, I would probably. Just make that crossing as short as possible. Um, although the French Navy would be... Eh, you could try and do it from Sardinia. That's probably what they've done. Um, they're probably doing the crossing and they're trying to... The French... The Italian Navy is just trying to cover the Sardinian crossing. Um, but they, they would have the... They would have the advantage in a daytime raid, so I'm not sure why they are attacking at night. Um, they probably think we don't have as good a radar as we have. Who do we have here? We have uh, a light cruiser division with Swax, Luca, and Forbin. So those are our new... Uh, I believe Swax is a... Yep. Swax is a... I don't know, Swax is a Forbin class. Yep, so that's all of our new Forbin Light cruisers right there. Uh, Pistolet, Espignol, PQ, Durandal. Um, a mixed, a mixed number of. Oh, those are our old uh, javelins. So we've got um, a relatively uh, our heavy cruiser division pricked by our most modern light cruisers and our rear line <laughs> destroyers. Ooh, everything is well protected. However, I do like that very much. Uh, we have Trody and Sirkuf protecting CVS, uh, the, the two carrier battle groups. Uh, Torville and Bronin are sailing together. And Little Wasp and Lafayette are sailing together, as usual. Uh, unusual that we see, well this is the first time we've had two, uh, two carriers available to us in the same battle. Uh, we have our battleship group, which is stacked together uh, in two lines. We have uh, the ocean group, which is uh, Ocean, Charlemagne, Sofren, Gunsight 1. Uh, we have Magenta in the lead with the Trident group. Magenta, Jabonicus, Trident and Picard taking up the rear. Uh, they are protected by a group of javelins. Uh, 
one, I believe that's one uh, Trody class. Uh, we have the Blackfish. Okay, so here are the Blackfish. Uh, yep, I have one division of Blackfish. And we have... Oh, we have our Duchess class here. Be interesting to see how she performs. Uh, and she is paired with a Jean Bart. Uh, Trody class. Uh, it would have been interesting to see how well she actually manages to shoot down enemy aircraft, but... But not to be tonight. Oh, we are almost done with our time, actually. I have ten minutes. Uh, let's get this show on the road. Unknown radar contact. Who has picked up the unknown radar contact? It is our southern group. Uh, we will put... We'll put them on screen, AI control, in support of Fian. Um, just so that they'll stick close. It is night time, I do want them sticking close. And we will do the same for Trody. Go to screen for Torville. Oh, and welcome to your new role, Torville. Uh, you have a very... May you have a very interesting career ahead. Uh, we will put the rest of the light cruisers on screen as well because we do not want them running out into the black. Excuse me. Uh, we have that unknown radar contact. We are going to put the battleships to max speed. And off you go. Uh, we are going to take... Uh, we're going to leave the carriers on uh, cruising speed. And they will maintain heading. Uh, we do have... Oh, that's a mine. Okay. Yep, so we're going to leave the carriers on their current heading and speed. Oh, the game is chugging slightly. Let us see where this contact goes. It is... Okay, go to... Go to... Uh, Greater speed. It's hitting. Uh, probably find their landing site is around there, um, or perhaps here. Uh, we will keep an eye on that contact. Our battleships are. Our formation is reforming around the battleships, uh, and they should cross in front of our carriers. Uh, let's see. So that. Yep. We have their. Mm hmm. They're reforming their formation. Uh, shadow them for now, because that is a lot of ships, and we're not entirely sure where they're going and what they're doing. They're pretty slow. I th think those are battleships. It's also the case that they're at line ahead formation. Oh no, their speed picked up. Okay. That looks like a group of destroyers. They're hanging pretty close. And their speed has gone up. They're making at least 20 knots. We're going to go to squad max for a little bit. Just try and get an eye on what their formation actually is. Those must be fairly large ships though, because they're appearing they're appearing uh, on our radar and not dropping out too much. There we go, so we have eyes on the tail end of their formation. Uh, compare it to our battleships they are probably advancing in something similar to this. But they are making pretty decent speed, so that might be their battlecruiser group. Oh, Yatagan has gotten lost yet again. Um, go to 25 knots. Actually go to 28 knots, I guess. That's probably the speed they're making if they're battlecruisers, if they're going at full speed. Oh, so we started catching up, so it might not be battlecruisers. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 enemy ships. Um, that is a screen formation, so that's probably the capital ships here. Uh, we will change the heading of the carriers to the southwest. Picking up a few more ships. That looks like a scout of light cruisers. So I've had to guess these are the capital ships. Uh, that's their trolling destroyers. And these might be heavy cruisers. Just checking the range on the old radar set. Oh, they're changing heading. So I suspect the landing is that way. Um, these are way too fast for transports. Hmm. If we're looking, if we had transports, we would be looking for a uh, box formation, uh, which would look. Uh, if if these two were lined up perfectly, it would look sort of like that. Um, but we're not seeing that, and they would actually be very, very slow speed. They would be making about 18, 18 knots, maybe 20 at most. Uh, transport ships are very slow. We're going to just change the shape of the... Just going to turn slightly, because we are starting to get rather close, and I believe they have identified us on their radar. Our Destroyers are thinking about starting a fight. Just shadow them for now. Just keep an eye on them. They appear to be flying towards uh, where they can gain some more aircraft cover. Um, oh, hello, that is a sudden turn. Nope, okay, they're still going. We're just catching up. Uh, go to Squad Max. That's definitely a military... Those are definitely military ships. There are no escorts there. Uh, there are no transport ships there. Uh, if I had to guess, the operator that... If I had to guess, uh, I would imagine that they have... Uh, if it was real life, oh, I have shifted the window. Hang on, there we go. Moving the wrong thing. If I had to guess, they have uh, st they have staged the landing, um, and they were hoping that the French Navy would not sail out. And now that they've detected, because uh, they if they had radar, they would know we were definitely military ships um, because we've been able to shadow them. In fact, they would know we are probably. Um, we are probably heavy, uh, heavy ships of some sort. Um, because they have, they have simply turned around and it looks like they're exiting the area. No, here we go. Here we go. We have, uh, we believe we have found them. And that looks like a force that's on its way somewhere. These are very slow ships. These are either battleships, but I believe these would be convoy. That would be a convoy ship. Epicu. Epicu. Where have you spotted a submarine? Oh, right in the. Uh, take evasive action. Go to Squad Max. That looks like a. That looks like a convoy right there. And you can see we have another parallel line following the same course. It's unknown what these are. These might be battleships. Uh, Luca reports an unknown radar contact. Okay, yep, no, that's, uh, that's us shadowing their fleet. Um... I sense opportunity, and I also sense that our time has run up. 
because those are military ships. And we're seeing three parallel lines of very, very slow moving ships. I believe that this is the convoy. And we have an opportunity to send Fian and Goiden in a very daring but possibly very lucrative attack. Uh, yes, we will do that next time. Although, three episodes is a lot to record in one sitting. Uh, so, we may do this battle and then I may do the next episode a bit short. Uh, until then. Until then, ciao.